Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. At the end of September, I ordered the Raspberry Pi 5. And after a couple of weeks, they sent me an email that unfortunately it was not going to be delivered uh, the 23rd of October. And they said it's going to be delayed until the 6th of November. But I think even Upton, he also said in an interview that they've been trying to get the production uh, higher. And I think it paid off because it's the 2nd of November and this should be my Raspberry Pi 5. So let's start the unboxing. Okay, so here's a card. This is the shop where I bought it. Raspberrystore.nl Let's see. So I ordered the um, also the official power supply because it seems that we only get uh, 5 volts and this is able to deliver 27 watts on the 5 volt line so uh, let's see uh, so this is the uh, delivery notes and what do we have more so, ah, this is the active cooler. This is the case that also has an active cooler. And this is the Raspberry Pi, Pi 5 itself. So, let's see, let's start with the Raspberry Pi 5 itself. Oh, open here it says. Oh. Uh. Okay. So there's some documentation. No. Oh. I don't think I really need that. So here it is. Ethernet, two times USB three, two times USB two. GPIO pins, and this one. This is where we have to connect the fan. This is the PCIe connector, custom connector, oh, and the power button. And we have USB C, two times micro HDMI, and the screen connectors. The chip itself and this is the memory I ordered the 8 gigabytes and this is the, one of the controller chips uh, designed by Raspberry Pi themselves and the uh, micro SD slot um, let's see some of the power supply and it's European not UK ok 
Okay. And yeah, they say that you can uh, put on the active cooler and it will still fit in the case, but not really sure about that lid. So, but we'll, we'll see about that. So here is the active cooler. It has two springs. And these are the pads to put on the components. So it has to be like this. So let's see. Oh. Yeah, now it's aligned. And this one also. Let's try to push them in. Oops. Well, that's a bit harder than I thought. Uh. Yes, that one is in. So now we need to push this one in. Yes. And then we have the power connector for the fan. I think it's like this. Okay, so the yellow wire is on top. Okay. So, the official case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should be able to remove the fan. It should be possible. Uh, let's see which side is easiest. Um, okay, like that. Okay, so there should be some things you can put on the bottom. They also point to a heatsink on the CPU, but let's see. Ah. Okay, that's a tiny heatsink. And these are the rubber feet. So let's see, let's put on the rubber feet. not 
think that's supposed to be. Okay. So. And let's see. So I guess this one should go like this. So if you have access to the micro SD slot, this is the power button. Okay, so let's put this one back on. Yeah, that's always a bit of a challenge when you do things for the first time. <laughs> That's it. So, what if we try to put the lid back on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's it. So, it actually does fit with the active cooler inside the case you can even put the lid on um, there's a little space uh, still there for the airflow so of course you can argue that it's better just to keep the lid off for better airflow but um, yeah that's perhaps something you have to consider when you want to overclock it uh, my first test um, yeah, will be another video. So just as a comparison here, I have a Raspberry Pi 4 in a Flurk case. So it's uh, roughly the same size. And let me get a screen and I also prepared a micro SD card so I'm going to pause here for a minute and then I will be back trying to boot it for the first time okay so I tried to prepare some things uh, I do notice that the USB-C cable is not that long so here I have a micro SD card so let's try to put that one in Okay, so there's no spring mechanism, just put it in. Um, so, I'm going to connect the micro HDMI. And let's try to boot it. So, there's a LED. And the fan is audible but at least that means that uh, the fan is working it's a bit louder than I would have hoped So, okay, this is uh, Ubuntu 23.10 for the Raspberry Pi. Um, I think I'm going to conclude my unboxing video here. And yeah, one of the, uh, well, at least for me, important thing was that does it actually fit with the active cooler? in the case and if you're still able to put the lid on 
So, yeah, the only thing is, is that I'm a bit disappointed by the noise of the fan. Um, I've had fans, also small fans, that are much quieter. So, but I guess that's one of the downsides for now that uh, yeah this one is actually really recommended to have uh, some serious cooling and with the FLIR case then um, this is passively cooled but I also noticed when I tested uh, stable diffusion that it wasn't able to keep up when I overclocked it to 2 gigahertz. So let's see what this uh, little fan and heatsink uh, can do. So I'm really happy that I received the Raspberry Pi 5 and I'm going to do some tests and I will show you the results in my next video. So see you until the next time.